Red Bull have been found guilty at the Qatar Grand Prix over changes made to Sergio Perez's car. Red Bull celebrations will have to come to a momentary pause in Qatar as the team have been found guilty by the FIA of assembling too much of Sergio Perez's spare chassis ahead of Sunday's Grand Prix. Logan Sargent was guilty of a similar indiscretion in Suzuka and the Red Bull man could face the same punishment. Another disappointing qualifying session in Qatar saw Perez fail to make Q3 for the eighth time in 2023 after his best lap was deleted for track limits. He then crashed out of the sprint race, handing teammate Max Verstappen his third consecutive F1 title. However, Perez is facing a further blow ahead of Sunday's race over a similar infringement to Sargent at the Japanese GP. The Williams driver was handed a pit lane start and 10 second time penalty as the FIA released a statement before Sunday's race, confirming that they had found Red Bull guilty of a similar offence. The statement by Joe Bauer, F1 technical delegate, read, Last night the Oracle Red Bull racing team worked on car number 11, chassis 02, two hours after checkered flag of the sprint. Chassis 01 got damaged beyond repair during the accident in the sprint. Chassis 01 and all other components fitted to it at the time of the sprint were covered on time at 23.08, two hours after checkered flag was shown at the end of the sprint. The chassis 02 was assembled without supervision to more than an assembly comprising a survival cell as defined in SR Article 27.2. This has to be considered as a third car available to the competitor. A self-declared sheet for car 11, chassis 02, was submitted at 14.05 today, 55 minutes before the cover's off time. As this is not in compliance with SR Articles 27.2, 40.3 and 40.6 as well as TD021G, I am referring this matter to the stewards for their consideration. Perez was due to start the Grand Prix in 13th place but he could face further punishment and may start from the back of the grid as a result of the infringement. This latest setback for Perez comes at a time when his Red Bull future has been in doubt as he continues to struggle behind teammate Verstappen. He has a contract with the team until the end of the 2024 season, but doubts persist despite the backing of team boss Christian Horner. I mean we'd still be leading the world championship with Checo if we didn't have him but obviously the delta between the two is difficult to explain at the moment, Horner said. I think Checo responds better to an arm around the shoulder and it's mentally a tough game. All sport, all top line sport is and when you're going up against a driver like Max, with the pressure that comes with it, that pressure only intensifies. We know what he's capable of and we know that he's a great racer.